On. Joy Slam is food again, Mom. Food fighters, figures in combat card and each sold separately. Toys do not walk and talk. All right, hey guys, and welcome back. As this week, I'm going to take a look at a toy line you may or may not remember: the Food Fighters. Not to be confused with the Foo Fighters. Food Fighters was a toy line released in 1989 by Mattel that featured a line of ten fully posable anthropomorphic food action figures dressed in full military uniforms. The line tried to capitalize on the popular gross-out humor of the time, incorporating the slogan, Now you can play with your food, and having a rebellious-themed line that turned wars between the two groups of figures as nothing more than food fights. There were ten action figures released in all with two different rival factions. The Kitchen Commandos, or the Good Guys, led by the Burgadier General, a hamburger, who commanded his troops, Lieutenant Leg, a chicken drumstick, Sergeant Scoop, an ice cream cone, Major Munch, a donut, and Private Pizza, a slice of pizza. And their no-good counterparts, the Refrigerator Rejects, led by the Evil Mean Wiener, a hot dog, Chip the Ripper, a chocolate chip cookie, Short Stack, a stack of pancakes, Taco Terror, a taco, and Fat Frenchie, a box of french fries. They were sold individually and came packaged with a backpack and a weapon, with the Kitchen Commandos having red weapons and the Refrigerator Rejects having blue ones. Each figure also had a comical ID card that provided information on each character's background, likes, or favorite weapon. There were multiple vehicles made for the series as well. There was the barbecue bomber, primarily used for the refrigerator rejects, which was a tank that had a spatula as a catapult. Then there was the fry chopper, a frying pan helicopter with spatulas for blades. And last but not least, the combat carton, a military transport vehicle in the shape of an egg carton with a ketchup bottle on top that fired projectiles. Both of these were used for the kitchen commandos. There was also a prototype designed for a refrigerator playset that was featured in upcoming toy magazines, but was never produced due to waning interest in the series and Mattel deciding to move on to other projects. Alright guys, let's take a look at some of the Food Fighters action figures and toys that I have here. And remember, this is food you are allowed to play with. So let's take a look at the first figure I have here, and this is Sergeant Scoop. He's a member of the Kitchen Commandos, and as you can see, he is a chocolate and vanilla ice cream cone. He has the fully posable arms here, where he would be able to hold machine guns or any other weapons that he would have came packaged with. And also around on the back here, you have the hole where you would attach the backpack. And he has his little green military helmet on top here. And the eyes are really done nicely, and he has a really kind of creepy smile uh, to him, almost sadistic. And you can see he's got his badges on the front of his uh, ice cream cone, and really good design on the, uh, the waffling and everything. Looks pretty realistic for a toy. And he just kind of has that look that says, man, don't mess with me. I've done some stuff that I can't even talk about. And moving right along, we have Private Pizza. I think this guy's my favorite out of the bunch. He's very goofy. He just looks nervous. Like, oh man, I've seen things, man. I've seen things. I don't want to. I don't want to go back out into the war zone. And uh, as you can see, he's a really goofy-looking character. He's got his tongue sticking out and has a piece of pepperoni for an eye patch, so he's been uh, wounded. Has the tomato sauce on the bottom and the mushrooms and the pepperoni. And again, the little spot for the backpack on the back. And he's just a really cool, goofy-looking figure. And definitely my favorite out of the group. He's really neat. And moving right along, um, this guy, you'd probably notice the difference right off the bat. Besides from the great details in the face and the ferocious look, he has the black clothes and the black helmet so he's part of the refrigerator rejects and this is taco terror and man he really fits the bill with that mean looking face uh, but one of the better detailed toys with all the detail in the face and then you have the lettuce and the tomatoes and like the guacamole and even the taco shell um, looks pretty realistic for a little rubber toy so they did a really a lot of nice detail work with this figure and it really shows, and he looks really cool. So we'll put these guys back here out of the way now that we've introduced most of the 
main figures in the line and we'll take a look at one of the vehicles that I have here and of course this is the carton tank and as you can see it's shaped like an egg carton with the big military off-roading wheels and the nice green and tan paint has the ketchup bottle on the top that would have fired the projectiles off the front which unfortunately I'm missing and we'll give it a spin around here and you can see all the nice detailing with the uh, camo paint job and you have some military stickers here uh, saying no step on the top and even a ketchup kind of Heinz 57 sticker on top of the can and I think that's a really nice touch to add to it and got a few more military stickers on the front this is a really nice nice piece I like and uh, what you can also do with this is you can open this top part up here and all the figures have little holes in their feet and you can line them up with the pegs and you can put your uh, you know good kitchen commandos or maybe POWs in there and um, you know you can drive them around with the vehicles in there so we'll put private pizza in the front and his head pops through the top just perfectly as he's driving and we'll take Sergeant Scoop and we'll stick him up top here and they can be really tricky to get their feet into these pegs you don't have a lot of room to work with so gotta be careful don't want to break them here and there we go got him in almost come on and there we go I think we got him this time looks like he's all ready for combat so he's mounting the, uh, the cannon up there and we have Taco Terror coming in and saying, Ah, you bunch of jerks. I'm going to take over your combat tank. And, uh, no, you're not. Kablam! 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 And they just take care of those stupid refrigerator rejects and keep on trucking down the road. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed taking a look at the Food Fighters line of toys today. And remember, be careful the next time you open up your refrigerator, you never know when a food fight can break out. Hey guys, if you liked the video that you just watched, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, and you can follow me at Facebook at King of Retro or Twitter at hashtag 8 Brian. See you next time!